God bless you, and thank you for joining us. I'm Minister Billy Burton, and welcome to Sunday School Insights. This audio teaching series is an evangelistic tool brought to you by Inspirational Women It's Ministries International, Advocatus Ecclesia Publishing, and Ministry Outpost. We hope and pray that these lessons will reach those who, for whatever the reason, either can't or won't come to a Bible study, a Sunday school class, or a traditional church service. Subscribe to our channel here on YouTube and then follow us on Facebook where you can read your Bible lessons faithfully each week. Our Facebook link is conveniently posted below. Our background music, Worlds Away, is provided by the artistic genius of Jay Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. Again, we thank you for joining us, and Sunday School Insights begins now. Today's lesson is entitled, The First Days of Creation. Our scriptures are found in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verses 1 through 13. We also would like for you to read the book of Job, chapter 38, verses 1 through 11, and the book of John, chapter 1, verses 1 through 10. When we begin to speak about what God has done, and we approach it out of our emotions, an opinion as though our thoughts and reasoning can match or comprehend God's creative mind. God calls it darkening counsel by words without knowledge, according to Job 38 and 2. In the beginning was the word, and scriptures tell us this, but keep in mind that these words are used so that our limited minds will have a point of reference because we think and measure events by time. It's important to note, however, that the words in the beginning does not mean during the time of creation. In the beginning found in John 1 and 2 is telling us that as far back as our minds can comprehend and even before that, the word existed. This word is God's word or voice, and we call God's word his spoken thoughts. When that word entered the earth through the birth canal of a woman and took on the likeness of human flesh, that word also took on the name of Jesus. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. This word that existed before creation created that which is now created, according to John 1 and 3. The Word would have to have already existed in order to be available to create, correct? This same Word illuminated the way of creation, for the Word itself, or we could say Himself, is light. The first light that we hear of when we read the words, let there be light. He is also expressed as the light of men. Genesis, meaning beginning, or birth, or origin in the Greek, is an account of God creating and establishing systems, laws, boundaries, and provision, so that days later, when he would make man, he would have already prepared a place for man to carry out the assignment that he would be deployed to do. During the first three days of creation, God by his word, life, and light, later to be known to us as Jesus, set things in order that would obey his decree without question, as long as the earth remains. The earth yet remains, and that which God spoke in the beginning still stands. Now the world is the operating governmental system of Satan and man within the earth and causes perversion. But there is no power great enough to override the foundational created systems of God. We pray that you've enjoyed this week's teaching on the first days of creation. We ask that you follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
Come back and join us here again next week, God willing, for another lesson of Sunday School Insights. Our background music, You On My Mind, was composed and performed by J. Mann at www.ourmusicbox.com. God bless you.